All right, so here's the whole idea. We're gonna buy you shoes, which we call beaters. We're gonna restore them, which upgrades the condition of them. And then we're gonna sell them for a profit. We're gonna also make money simply restoring sneakers. All right, so first I wanna talk about how much it's gonna cost you as well as some of the things that you gonna need. And bro, trust me on this. These items will be lifesavers, so listen up. All right, so you're gonna need some cleaning and fixing supplies. So you're gonna need things like paint brushes, cotton balls, acetone to strip paint off, tape, and a whole bunch of other things that I'm gonna list in this video below. All right, so you're gonna need a little shoe brush kind of like this you can get a kit like the cleaner and the brush at a foot locker foot action or anything like that you're gonna also need some crep protect now what crep protect does is pretty much creates a barrier around your shoe so that stains water moisture or anything like that just literally slides off all of that all combined is probably gonna cost you 100 to 150 dollars now the only other thing that you're gonna need some money for is inventory you really only need as much as you're gonna need to get your first shoe and most of the time because we're dealing with shoes that are not in tip top condition you don't always need a fortune to start with. so i'll say anywhere from 25 dollars to maybe even 100 or 125 dollars all right now we're going to talk about how it works because obviously like everything else the idea is buy low and then sell high and honestly it's much easier in the sneaker world to do that if you're looking for shoes that are not brand new looking for shoes that you're going to restore because the worse the condition of the shoe the lower the value the lower of the asking price and like even if you're not going to just go out and do hardcore shoe restoration bro even if you're gonna do like light cleanups and stuff like that you can still do that and take maybe a five to a seven you can still do that easier than getting hype sneakers on release day and trying to take that route in the resale game all right now let's say we didn't want to do hardcore refurbishing if that's the case what you have to focus on is finding shoes that are at least a seven out of ten condition because anything less would have to have us pull out the paint and that steps you into the area of where you would need to be a pro or at least have some experience and don't get it twisted if you you put the time in you can be a pro at it now if you do want to do hardcore reselling if you do want to strip paint out and repaint shoes and really bring them back up to 9 out of 10 to 10 out of 10 condition keep in mind you're going to have to take restoration a little bit more serious but your profit margins are going to be so much better if you're down to strip the paint off and put the paint back on or even do a whole sole swap you can buy shoes under a 6 out of 10 condition and bring them all the way back up the ladder meaning you can get a shoe for $20 because the they're so beat up and bring them all the way back up to where you can get close to market value on them buying restoring and selling used sneakers can be a good side hustle and once again just restoring sneakers can be a good side hustle as well like right now there's a huge demand for people who need sole whitenings because shoes like the fours the fives the, the 11s they all sort of have have that clear sole that yellows over time right and so i actually have a video where i created a ice box which is pretty much a device that imitates the uv rays from the sun combined with the chemical that completely knocks that yellow out and so so if people are paying a hundred dollars for that process imagine how much money a day that you can make if you got three four five restorations each day now i know you want to know bro how am i supposed to get these shoes the first way i'm gonna suggest is ebay ebay is where beaters are actually priced the most reasonably you can actually go on ebay and search the word jordan beaters and you're gonna see some stuff come up also if you just search whatever you could be looking for a particular model shoe or whatever search that shoe and then go to the use listing flea markets are also going to be a good place that you can find just beater sneakers sneakers that people just sort of dropped off and don't really care too much about you do have to look and maybe go to a different few ones but you can definitely find some shoes to restore in there as well also my personal favorite way is going on facebook marketplace the only downside to this though is people a lot of people on there are trying to get 200 dollars for their two out of ten condition ran down space jam 11s bro just because they space jam so you got to watch out for that but other than that you can almost always find some beaters on that platform now you're also going to sell on these exact same platforms all right now i want to talk to you about some pro tips and some things that you need to know the first thing that you need to know is that it takes patience bro a good restore does take time even if you're doing a sole icing sometimes it can take 24 hours sneaker restoration don't get it twisted it's a one-man job bro but if you somehow if you could get help if you could get somebody on board with you then that'll completely make it like a big thing also another tip bro when looking for shoes to fix make sure you know what you can fix and then what you can't fix too many times bro i got a pair of shoes that was just like above my restoration level as far as skill i'm mainly talking about gluing sole swaps and stuff like that i was never able to fully get that done i strongly suggest you stick to like lighter paint jobs and like 
light cleaning jobs until you get your skills up. You kind of get some practice shoes to practice on because bro, you will be surprised how just a simple paint job and a simple cleaning can like completely breathe life into a shoe. Now, as far as I know you like, bro, where am I supposed to learn how to do all of this, bro? There are several learning resources on YouTube University for any type of repair. Like, like I said, I have a tutorial where I show you how to build a light box. You can literally build one of those for less than like a hundred dollars, but there's tutorials on how to re-glue soles. And what you mainly need to learn is what type of glue to use, what type of soles stick better with different types of glues. I always try to find you like a sweet spot as far as the condition, because hey, the more beat they are, the more time it is gonna take you. Also, always be clear and transparent about the fact that they are refurbished. Even if you can bring them back to the point to where they can pass this dead stock, which I have seen. Another thing, one of the biggest questions that you're gonna ask yourself and that you're gonna see asked in the comments when you go search for sneaker painting tutorials, you're gonna see airbrush versus paintbrush compared to each other all the time. And for me, I'm gonna personally say, unless you have an experienced touch as far as your strokes with the brush, I'm gonna always suggest that you get an airbrush because what you're gonna learn is, is that you need to paint in thin coats and the airbrush is gonna allow you to do that. All right, so now let's talk about some challenges. One of the biggest challenges that everybody faces is actually, bro, having a designated space because, bro, it's gonna get really messy with all your paints, with all your chemicals, with all your material. I strongly suggest you keep it organized and Kind of have you a space that you can do that if you're airbrushing it gets extremely messy and extremely loud also make sure you're not wearing clothes that you want to keep that you care about because you're definitely going to get them dirty and although that acrylic paint usually does wash off with water for some reason when it touches your clothes it's never coming out thing bro one of the biggest things is knowing how to price your sneakers after you refurbished them right and for me personally i always kept mine in the 100 and 150 range but sometimes that's not going to be the case even when you get them in mint condition right because let's say you had some concords right what you would do is restore those and then go compare them to use prices on goat i always use goat to price my restored sneakers because that gives you the best indication of of what they're worth used now i know you want to make that ice box i know you want to even i know you want to start making some money ice and soles bro so i have a video where i actually show you how to create an ice box with just homemade materials in the uv light bro meet me over in that video i love y'all bro let's get it hey man thank you so much for watching if you like the content on my channel i want to ask that you like comment and subscribe also if you're interested in learning how to acquire limited items join my my discord not only do we share the information in there but we also raffle off items do giveaways and all type of lit stuff so join me in that discord also follow me on all my socials i love y'all man let's get it now if you watch of my other videos then you know i have several videos covering sneaker reselling but that's a lot of information to take in so what i've done is taken all that information and put it in a downloadable pdf for you yes it does cost a little fee However, trust me, it's worth it to have all that information just centralized and I even go over some in-depth methods and honestly give some sauce that I haven't gave on these videos. I'm going to put the link in the description on this video. Thank y'all for watching. Let's get it.